Today, we're gonna to show you three simple video tests that you can record to help you determine your visual style. Welcome to Pull My Focus, adventures in the world of digital filmmaking, where we show you the tips, tricks, and techniques you need to make great video. In filmmaking, you have a lot of choices to make on set for each shot that affect the final outcome of your project. Camera angle, camera placement, prop placement, talent blocking, focal length, lighting contrast, and much more. What can you do in pre-production to help that process? Shoot tests and experiment to determine the visual style that's right for your project. Here's an analogy. An exceptionally technical craft, pottery, which happens to be one of my hobbies, uses complex glaze mixtures that look different on various clay types and is affected by a wealth of other factors. So in pottery, we make test tiles, a lot of them, to see how one glaze looks next to another, over another, with texture underneath, and so on. In the end, we gain benchmarks of styles that we like and now know how to technically recreate them. This means we can make informed and creative choices. The same applies to digital filmmaking, another exceedingly technical craft, where a lot of creative choices are made on set and then baked in the edit. Use these three simple tests to narrow down some of those choices to help you determine the look and feel you want for your project. In these types of tests, what's key is to keep it simple. We're working with only one variable at a time in each test. Aperture. Let's practice a single static shot, the same focal length, 50 millimeters. The variable, the f-stop. We'll need ND filters for this test. We'll start at f16, ISO 850, which I'm lit for, and focus is set on Courtney's eyes. Now we'll open up two stops at a time using an ND filter each time so we maintain the same exposure. You'll see how the background progressively goes out of focus as we open up. Now let's open the door behind her to add even more depth and do the same test. Now let's go outside and do the same test on an exterior shot. I now have tests to compare how different apertures affect my background in relation to my actor on my locations and the feeling it gives. Focal length. I'll use my Canon 24 to 105 zoom here. We'll start at f5.6 and we'll start at 24 millimeters. I'll then pull the camera back and zoom in to 35 millimeters to maintain the same framing on Courtney. Remember, I'm only changing one variable, the focal length. Then I'll zoom in and move the camera back for 50 millimeters and then 75 millimeters focal length. As you can see, the background changes as we change the lens focal length. In the 24 millimeter, we can see a lot. My car in the background, steps on the right. It has a different feel than the 75 millimeter. We barely see the background and it's clear the character is the focus. The 24 millimeter shows her in the world around her. The 75 millimeter, more isolated, focuses on her alone. Key to fill ratio. Let's go back inside and test our third variable called our key to fill ratio. This common ratio relates to the contrast between the key side and the fill side of our talent's face. We'll determine it by keeping the dome cover on the light meter and blocking the fill side of it and then the key side. In this instance, I'm getting exposure of 80 foot candles on the key and 80 foot candles on the fill side. That's a ratio of one to one. Now I'll lower my fill level by turning off one of the two bulbs in my fill. And now I'm getting 80 foot candles on my key, 40 foot candles on my fill. That's a two to one ratio, a one stop difference between key and fill. I'll turn off my fill light completely and just use the ambient in the room as fill for a three to one ratio, a one and a half stop difference. And finally, I'll use negative fill, a black show card next to the fill side of my talent to block some of the ambient fill for a 41 ratio, a two stop difference between key and fill. 
Now with these lighting ratio tests for our talent, we can now make creative choices and informed choices to choose a ratio that will impart a certain look and feeling for our shot and our scene. Did any of these shots resonate with you? Did you like some, not others? Did some feel bright and happy? While others, a little dark and gritty. These specific variables give us different technical results. Sharpness, field of view, contrast, and therefore creative choices that we can make to impart different styles and feelings to our work. Thanks for watching. Check out our site for companion articles uh, to our videos on pullmyfocus.tv. And don't forget to view our other videos on digital filmmaking in the areas of pre-production, production, and post-production. Post